What's going on everyone? Happy Friday. It is Friday after a short but long week. Just to be clear, I did laundry this morning, so I know that I'm repping Obliviation two days in a row, but I'm living out of a duffel bag for the most part. Um, and uh, yeah, I just wanted I just wanted to start by saying that it's a very comfortable shirt. So props to Obliviation for um, for the shirt. Uh, I'm running low on battery in many ways, emotionally, physically, mentally, after this long week, um, and my phone too. So I'm going to get in, get out, and start the weekend, um, even though I'll read poems of the day over the weekend too. Um, this is a poem by Emily Roscoe, um, and it's, um, this, this is, um, this is a cool poem. Um, it's, um, yeah, it's really, really cool. Um, this is like a chopped, a chopped up fragmented poem. Um, at least structurally, you know, we've got a bunch of couplets, um, on, on, on the page and, um, it's kind of cool. Um, the, her first collection, the first word of her raw goods inventory, um, which she released in 2006, the first word of the collection is detritus, which is pretty, um, pretty cool to, to, to start, um, to start a whole poetry collection like that, I think. Um, and, um, it's kind of neat to, um, to see that, um, the way this poem is structured, the way that it flows is this kind of back and forth and, and snippets, even though it's like one conversation, you can't quite tell. It, it sort of feels like an argument that starts because of one thing. And um, all of a sudden it's like, whoa, what are we talking about? Oh, okay. Um, which is just interesting. And, and I, you know, I think it's kind of an interesting little, um, poem that's filled with like a little bit of a little bit of edge a little bit of I don't know if anger is the word or I don't know if resentment is the word um but it can be you know these these are these are challenging times as um <laughs> as many people have said recently and um I think this poem kind of ends in an interesting place based on where um it spends most of the time um in any event I'm just gonna read the poem to you and then um you can take it as as you like it. So this is a poem by Emily Roscoe called Even Before Your Elbow Knocked Over the Glass. <clears throat> First, there were the broken pieces. You said, don't you think I know what I'm doing? To which I replied, don't you feel most alone when we're in this together? Under the eve, wasps are constructing a nest, gray paper out of spit. So much of the body is in their work. See how the legs move, bending and praying? You said, don't you think I know when you're trying to change the subject? I could make a building out of my despair. We could acquire a nice piece of land and sit on it. There are a thousand blades of grass, each one waiting to be claimed. As I always say, you said, if you commit one sin, then you commit them all. To which I said, how many absolutes do we have proof of? The sky has never looked bluer. What is the significance of that? It means I might walk out on you yet. What? You asked. Nothing, I said. I said nothing. What is there to say anyway, except in the sunlight, I could see the glass fall even before your elbow knocked it over. This is always how it happens. Certain ideas are never fully formed. This is some mess, you said. To which I said, there are lives that go on this way. Then we went down on our knees, and in that manner, we began. It's a really, a really cool, it's a really cool poem that's like fraught with emotion and tension. Um... And I just, I just love how the poem ends. I think it's, it's, it's an interesting poem. 
Um, and if you're bumping up against whoever you might be quarantining with, um, it's really easy to like take things out of context, right? Um, and, and even, you know, even when you give everyone the benefit of the doubt, I just think this is a really interesting poem about like the things you say that you don't mean and the things that you don't say <laughs> that you don't mean to not say. Um, it's just really interesting. Um, I find this poem fascinating, like the back and forth and, and, and that sort of tension that, um, turns out just being in a slightly different place. I don't know. I, I really like this poem. I really, really, really like this, this poem. Um, so yeah, in any event, happy Friday. Uh, be well, take care of yourselves, wash your hands. We will see you again over the weekend for two more poems of the day. Bye everyone.